Today we're going to learn how to make some craft foam stamps. And these stamps can be used to make cards, to decorate your notebooks. They can be used for lots of different things. Our family loves to go letterboxing. It's like a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt. And you take your stamp and you find the treasure that they've hidden, which is a little box, and inside the box there will be a stamp and a journal, and you get to use your stamp to stamp in their journal, and then you take the stamp from the box and stamp on your own journal to prove that you found it, and then you hide it back where they had it hidden, and then you can go on to find other, other little boxes. And just using things that we have at home, we use some craft foam sheets, and we used for the back, we used some pieces of cardboard. If you have a wood block, you could put one of your stamps on the back of a wood block. You can also use any kind of adhesive that you have. You might use Elmer's glue, a rubber cement, or a glue stick, something that holds really firmly. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need pencil and pen. And then to either draw some designs, you can either draw designs on the paper or you can print a design from the internet and use that as your design to cut out and make your stamp. All right, let's go ahead and make our stamp. I want to do this bat design. So I've printed the picture on just a little piece of paper and then I'm going to turn the paper over so that I can look at the back side and I'm gonna get my pencil and shade everywhere on the back. I can kind of see the design through the paper so I know where to shade. Then I'm going to take that picture and I'm going to put the shaded side down on my craft foam. And I'll get my pen. Now I'm going to trace the picture and as I push down on the picture, the shaded, the shady part will transfer to the craft foam. I don't need to color it in, I just need the outline because I'm going to be cutting it out. Okay. Now you can see that I've got the outline there, but it's not really clear, so I'm going to just go over it with my pen so I have a nice clean edge. Now that I have, have it clearly outlined, I'll take my scissors and I'm just going to carefully cut along that outline. If you feel like it's going to be a little bit tricky, you can ask an adult to help you with that part. Okay, there. So I've got the back cut out of the craft foam. So I'm just going to take a piece of cardboard that I had out in the recycle bin and make sure that I cut a big enough piece that my bat can fit on there. And then let's get some glue. Just carefully press and wait for it to dry. Okay, so now I've got the craft foam glued to my cardboard. And again, if, if you have something like a wood block at home, it would be really nice to put it on a wood block so you can have something thicker to hold on to. But of course, if you don't have one of those, just use cardboard. Or you could use an eraser and, um, if your stamp's a small one. All right, and then let's go ahead and use a marker to do the stamp because pretty much everyone has markers at home. All right, let me turn it over. Yes. Oh, it looks good. So let me show you how that turned out. See how that bat stamp turned out? It's so nice.
Okay, if you want to go letterboxing, let's first go to letterboxing.org and then go to Milwaukee. And here is a list of all of the different letterboxes you can find that have been hidden all around Milwaukee. So, the one that my family did was this one right here, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The five indicates that there's five boxes that are hidden. So let's click on that one. And it tells us that it gives us all of these clues. And you're going to follow those clues in order to find the boxes.